G'day and welcome back for more Scrapyard Survival. And I've done a whole bunch of messing around with scripts on my crane. And I've also moved my cockpit. Previously I had the cockpit up here at the front. But, as some of you have probably experienced yourselves, and something that I have experienced quite a bit myself, a cockpit at the front means that your third person camera gets messed up when there are subgrids in the way. If I put the uh, if I put the cockpit all the way here at the back, I shouldn't have problems with my third person camera anywhere near as much. So hopefully that means a more stable viewpoint for us to see what's going on. Now, I want to do a couple of things around the base before I head off, which is a good thing because it is dark and I would prefer to do some exploration during the day. I'd like to find some more cargo. I'd obviously like to find another battery and other things like that, but I think cargo for the base would be highest on my priority. Though I do think I have enough to clear out these shelves. I'm going to have to replace these shelves at some point with some shelves of my own design. Something that I can put small grids on and put little pieces on the shelving so I can have, well, a warehouse. And then to go with that warehouse eventually will be a forklift because I really want to make a forklift. So basically I'm coming up with an excuse to make a forklift and then the excuse for that is let's put all my small grids inside rather than out because <laughs> then I have, well, yeah, something that I, I need to be able to get in and out. That's my thinking anyway. And if there's anything in any of these shelves, which there, can, there might be, but if there's anything good in these shelves, at least grinding them all down, I will find it. And luckily just dropping them like this seems to be relatively safe. Though I always fear, in a server environment especially, that they may just decide to land a little awkwardly, tip over and crush me. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but if it does, at least I'm nearby. My, see what I mean? Things tipping. That was my own fault, though. I should have seen that that was going to happen. Because <laughs> previous on the previous row, I was still this was still a static grid. Now it is not. So of course it was going to fall that way. I'm going to get a lot of girders out of this. That will be good for some things. The um, what are they called? It the these windows, the barred windows for small grid. They require girders. And they're quite good for making little catwalks in small grid, so I'll probably end up using a bit of them. Also, quite a lot of steel plate from this, too. Each of these seems to have 18 in it. How are we going for storage space? 6,000 and 15,000. All right, we're still good. Oh, I hope I get lucky and find a better grinder or a welder today. That would be just delightful. Oh, that had something. Oh, one power cell. Yay! I got a power cell. Woo! I probably shouldn't be so sarcastic about that. It is actually always a good thing when you find a power cell. Something else I was just thinking of. I think I might try and make some garage doors for in here. They're completely non-functional, but I, I like the idea of having the doors be able to open and close. And what I'm thinking is, probably the simplest solution is just a hinge that swings down. And that's the door. But I'll keep uh, contemplating what else could be used as a solution there. There's obviously some way to get a tiny little Energy bit of small critical. grid in there would probably look a lot nicer in the end. Especially from the inside. Ooh, okay, cargo is almost full. 3,000 steel plate. 1,500 girders. Right, that would... Yep, yep. All right. Just take this one out so I can see whether there's anything good in these. Alright, I think it's time for me to go out and wander and see if I can find some more cargo, because I have no more room. Uh, did I leave any stuff inside the vehicle, though? Looks like there's stuff in the connector. That's all. Okay. Yep, let's go. Time to get out of here. Ooh. What? Oh, right. <laughs> that would explain why. That was a power issue. My batteries were on recharge. Now, I do have... My full crane setup. All done. So I'm actually controlling this with my mouse. But personally, for park, I prefer to use my arrow keys. What I've done with this is set it up so that I have 
Q, W, and E doing things that move the crane end forward. So Q is doing that. W is extending the elbow. And then E is extending that bit at the end there. And then the A, S, and D keys are doing the reverse of the key above them. Which to me feels like it makes more sense. But the other cool thing I have with this is the ability to collapse it down. So if I'm in the right mode and then I press return, this is going to set itself perfectly back to its home position. And if I change to the other mode, I can also get it ready to use with a single key press using the home function in the park script, which is really cool. Uh, I've I have a tutorial all on how to set up stuff with Park and use it for controlling cranes, uh, which I should probably link, I guess. All right, I think the sun was over there, which means it was setting. So I'm just going to go... It should rise east and set west. So if I head east, I should be heading toward the light. Pretty stable at speed, which is nice. Got plenty of power because all my batteries are fully charged up, I think. Yep, both of them were fully charged when I left. Excellent. Now we just keep an eye out for the signals. Oh, there was something. I did not see it long enough to see how far away it was. But it's in pretty much that exact direction, but I'm going to possibly get a little bit deviated from it because of this hill coming up ahead. Oh. Let's start a rover again. 1.7Ks. I'm going for it. Is that the same one I saw last time? It stayed up this time, so maybe not. Or maybe it is, because it's got power this time. Oh. There's light down there. wonder if anyone's home. Oh, this is definitely someone's home. I found someone's home. I forgot to bring stuff to say hi. Oh, they're a bit more wealthy on the old batteries than I am. That is an interesting... That's an interesting way to store components. It's clever. Off-road 5x5s and then some industrial cockpits. Clever. They found themselves a little tower that they've started making home. That's cool. So that's who's nearby. Uh, I might GPS this so I know not to get distracted by this location again. This clearly isn't the person who managed to get those two wind turbines that I had previously spotted because they've only got one there unless they destroyed both of them by accident which I suppose is possible I also now realize I've completely lost track of where the other thing was that I was heading towards but it could be that again more light on oh oh hello oh do you have anything good what is this it is a bar with an inconvenient staircase and a Full large grid battery. Oh yeah. Now, am I gonna get super super lucky? Is the, are these lockers gonna contain something good, like a tool for me? Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> yes, it's a tool, but it's like the only tool I don't need. Oh, come on. Ugh. Rude. Alright, let's grab what we can from here and we'll grab that battery. Plenty of large steel tubes, which is good. Alright, battery's free. I should probably see about techniques to grind these down and not lose any components. I might do that at home. No, I didn't check the outbuilding. Oh. The outhouse. Oh, it does have a large steel tube in it though. I'll take that. Alright, let's add a few magnetic plates along here that I can put blocks on. How much quicker is this going to be? Let's start by going into my remote control. There we go, my crane is ready. <laughs> it's spinning around like crazy. That's fine. It's all fine. Oopsie. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Oops. I haven't actually put the um, little grabby bit onto my hopper. I should probably do that. Alright, I have picked it up. Well, I've grabbed it. Let's lift it up. Oh, this is so good. I love this stuff so much. And if I just let go here, 
Oops. It is already locked to that landing gear. Sweet. Oh, no, 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 bad wrong. Oh, okay. Gee, that was almost disastrous. Ooh. Let's try that again. Change to the other mode and we'll click return. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit that one and hit return. There we go. That's the action I wanted. I suppose I should get some of this bulletproof glass. If I ever decide to do anything around my warehouse with glass, it's probably going to be useful to collect at least a little bit. It's not too hard to come across. And it is bulky. So it's probably not the best thing for me to carry and collect now. No. I won't. I will continue to drive east. Hopefully towards the sunrise. Oh. I'm going to stop you just before the server reset. I want to do this. Turn brake off on my front two wheels. That is going to make that much less of a problem. It's now just after 2 a.m. local time, which means there's still a fair bit of time before we're going to see some sunlight, which is unfortunate, because I really don't like going out scouting when I can't see things in the distance. It means you've got to rely entirely on the blips and entirely on oh, the target locking sort of stuff. But I spotted something and I did not because I was talking. <laughs> Take note of the distance. Oops. I'm going to keep heading the stuff that's more eastward. And I think this one was closer. I think it was three something, but I don't know how far. Ideally, what I would do is put down a little GPS of the distance when I see something so that I know to keep heading in that direction for that distance. I could also put down an actual, like, heading as part of the GPS as well, but given that these things get wiped as part of the cleanup with the server that we're playing on it's probably not as practical as doing that in a single player game where you just have cleanup completely turned off because that's my usual recommended way to play this is just clean up off but with it being on a public server it needs to have a little bit of cleanup and so we've got a fully custom solution to that now where is the thing that i just saw there was something around here and i can't see it i think oh there it is up there Oh, whatever it is, it, um, it appears to have bounced. What is that? Oh. It is two things. That's what that is. <laughs> it is two things that have clearly decided to become one, and it has not worked out for either of them. Oh, I'll grab the motors. I don't think there's anything else useful here. Some large steel tubes in that wheel. I think I missed some large steel tubes on a truck just like this before. The ones where I got the medical components. Which was a pity at the time, but... I was distracted. <laughs> by the thing I thought was more valuable. That looks like a little hydrogen tank. Oh, whoa! The clang collar just clanged out. Seems fitting. Nope. Oh. No! Oh. <laughs> Come on! What? Oh, it's the angle. It's too steep. I can't actually walk on that. Because I'm slightly facing downhill. I'm just going to mag plate these down for now. And I'll deal with them back at home. Does that exhaust have anything useful? Oh, yeah, a couple of motors. Might be able to finish those rear wheels, actually. Well, I'm done. Let's see if we've got the small steel tubes for that one. Yes, I do. Yay! This will mean wheels done. So then it's all about cargo containers and conveyors. Keep going to the front of the vehicle to get into the cockpit. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh, I see sunshine. Happy, happy days. Alright, here we're going for that. Ooh, that was a bit tilty. There's that danger of having my steering turned up as high as I do. I wonder if there's a way to change my compass to be a degree so that it's easier to mark down an angle. Might have to look into that. Apparently it does. Slash compass space use use dag space true. So now I should be able to write down just a degree heading of something 
and its distance from a GPS and then be able to find it later. If I need to. But I think I'm going to leave it on false for the moment. Because I kind of... I prefer the north, south, east, west look. Right, what do we have here? Wait, is that a... No, I think that might be a... Something else sort of tower. I don't think that's a... Power line. What is that? Is it a wind turbine? Oh no, I was right. It is a power thing. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot more than a power thing here. It's a workshop. Some other other some other bits and pieces. Let's have a look. Ooh, and some conveyor lines. That's gonna be plenty of motors. Great. What's in here? What's in the workshop first? Uh, what's in here? Nothing in the freight. What about you guys? A power cell, nice. I'll take that. A bunch of interior plate and small steel tubes, I'll take those. You have nothing I want. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got cargo. Excellent. Not worried about the connector. But we have another large grid, small cargo. Doubling our cargo capacity at base. Yes, yes. Battery and a cargo container. Nice little haul. Don't think I've got enough metal grids even at home to make this thing built. But at least I've got everything else. Right, just check around. I don't think either of these little bridge gateway things are going to have anything I want. I don't think this door does. I think the rest of this is just steel plate. Pretty much. Let's check out those little, little grids out there too. Because they might have something I want. Large conveyor motor goodness. I'm just going to cut this off so that it can fall down so that I can get at the... <laughs> at the uh, conveyors without having to do anything fancy. It is so good being able to manipulate things properly. Just, I love this stuff. I love cranes. Cranes are awesome. Cranes, trains, they're all great. Uh, I want to try and get this on the closer mag plate that I made, but I think it's, I think it's just going to touch both anyway. I think that'll do. Let's get a move on. The weather's turned anyway. Now, if it's 6 a.m., I can head either north or south and stay in the sun. Because I would like to stay in daylight as long as I can. Ah, this is so good. As long as I don't go too far left, where those grids then get in my way, I can move my camera around a fair bit. So glad I put this cockpit at the back. Oh, something up ahead. I just headed blindly in any direction and it... <laughs> I got lucky. Fingers crossed I can find a grid or two. I think I might only have three at home. Unless the game decides I don't have three at home. In which case, I need four. Because <laughs> I honestly don't know whether it's going to decide I have them or not any time. Uh, what's this? Uh, it is a rolled over little van thing. A couple of batteries. Hydrogen tanks. What's in the back? Ooh. Okay. An O2H2 gen. I don't have any way to get ice, and the uh, polar regions are very dangerous, so they're not going to be a place I can get ice from. But I should probably take this anyway. And what looks like an oxygen tank. The oxygen tank is too heavy for me to drag by hand. So I'm just trying to decide which bits on here I actually really want to take with me, and which bits are less important. Or if I build a real temporary trailer off the back of my truck. Something I can just slap a whole bunch of stuff to. Those tanks appear to be badly damaged, so I don't think they're going to be worth taking. Well, this one's not. No, the other one. The other one is definitely not worth taking. I'm going to shove this up on the rover and then come back and deal with the other bits. Do I care about these little batteries? Yes. Yes. Because I was talking about putting them on the bottom layer of my rover as ballast. And what's the bet I get into a situation where I don't have enough thrust with the wheels? And then I'm like, why did I make this so heavy? Oh, I stuffed it up. And I stuffed... What? I didn't... Why did the power cell break when I welded it? Oh well. <laughs> if I stick these big mag plates on, maybe I can get a few things on the side up here that'll still be nice and out all the way of the wheels. That'll work. Ramshackle, that's what we're supposed to be doing here. Engineering, making do with what you got. Not pushing... Not just digging up some dirt and magically getting everything. Ready to lock. Oh. 
Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Get off. Get off. Yeah. What I said. Get on. Go on. Get. I just got to try and get these on those landing gear, which is going to be a bit awkward to get a good camera for. Just trying to keep this nice and high. I think that's locked now. Yep. And onward I go. 16 kilometers away from home. Got plenty of power, so that's not a, not going to be a problem. I could attempt to circumnavigate this place. Oh, nope. I was about to turn, but I found something. What have I found? I found another warehouse. I wonder if it's got the same stuff mine does. I've got something better or different. Oh, it looks to be the same as mine. It means there's like a... There is a power cell somewhere in here, and I don't remember which one. Not sure I'm <laughs> that fussed to figure it out either. Oh, All right. I'll ignore that. That's not interesting, but... No, does that. This might be interesting. What does this have? Got freight, which is empty. Got freight, which has some displays. And we got what? More freight. Has some pistol magazines. Don't think there's anything too exciting around here. But that sorter up there almost certainly has computers in it. So I'm going to build myself a little scaffold to get up there. Oh yeah, 20 computers. Very nice. Inventory full. Very, very nice. All right, which way shall I go? South or north, it doesn't matter. Uh, more power transmission towers. And that appears to be maybe something at the base of this one closest to me. Maybe. Oh, that is a plane. Well, what remains of a very rusted out one. No, get back here. Get back here, thruster. I want to keep you. Yeah, another hydrogen thruster. Those are going to be very valuable later on. Gyroscope. Nice. Take that. Ooh, medkits. And another gyroscope. Well, if I meet someone and they need one, I can see if I can trade the gyroscope for something. Don't think this engine's worth keeping. And then we just got these batteries down here. And another engine. Let's see if there's anything in this gun. Oh, yep, some ammo. And a steel and a metal grid. Let's see if I can merge these two together. Make them a bit easier to handle with the crane. Let's see if there's anything in these cargo containers. Ooh, even more ammo. When I eventually need ammo, this might be useful. This will be a very useful haul. So one of the plans I have for this series as we go forward is that we need to secure the pole. I don't know which pole yet. But we want to secure one of them, because that's where we're going to get the fuel for us all to be able to escape. And we're going to try and escape all together in a whole bunch of different scrappy little vehicles. And hopefully, that'll be a whole lot of fun. But I'm not going to be rushing towards that goal. I'm going to be taking my time, meandering, taking detours here, there, and everywhere. Because I think that's the more fun way to go. Right, let's see if I can hack this battery properly this time. Hooray! One battery for the bottom of the, sh the rover. Yep. I just went straight up too far last time. Whoa, what have I done? <laughs> I think I just tried to lift myself up with the grabby hand thing. Okie dokie. Uh, let's chuck you over the edge. Chuck you over the edge. Chuck you over the edge. I think other than that wheel piece, there's nothing here to grab. Cool. Batteries should be able to be placed down here. If I start, probably in the middle would make most sense. So if I put a merge block there, and then I put a merge block on each of these batteries, and I probably should do them one at a time since that's going to make them easier to manhandle. And then we use grab hands. Now to pick it up. Right mouse to center, and then left to keep it stable. I should be able to take this under here, rotate it, and get it to snap into place. Should be able to do this. Why are you no work? Come on. Why are you being like this? Oh. Why? How am I going to make this work? 
So I'm working against gravity, so I have to have this held. I do that. <laughs> Can I get you to go and merge? Hey, it merged. It's the opposite way that I was planning, but it merged. I am not going to worry which way around these things are rotated. That just seems silly to me. There are going to be so many of these. They're all just going to be a massive jumble. Well, as it turned out, I got all but one of them exactly the same. <laughs> that probably makes it worse. Uh, okay, now I've got to get you guys connected. do love having the ready function on one of my home positions for this crane. Makes setting it up a breeze, getting ready to go. Alright, and fold it up, and let's go. So we have a hydrogen thruster, two gyroscopes, a large battery and a large cargo, an O2H2 gen, and an oxygen tank for small grid. Still don't really have much I can do on my base with this, so I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on looking and see what I find, and hope I find something else that allow will allow me to work on the base a bit. If I'm heading home, I want to either be in a situation where I can't carry anything else, or I have enough stuff that going home is worth doing so because then I can do stuff. My cargo is full though. So unless I find a cargo, I am going to need to head home soon. This appears to be an elevated rail line. In fact, two of them. Oh, I need to get up to those rail cars and see if there's anything good up there. How can I get up there? Or do I try and drag them off with the train? With the crane, I should say. Uh, I think I'll go with scaffolding and climb my way up there. Then I can grind this out. Then I can put a slope in here. Then I've made it to the wheels! Uh, and I'm stuck. <laughs> of course I am. Ooh. That's sketchy. Anything in these? Such a pity I couldn't get that earlier rail car that I found right at the beginning that had the solar panels on top. Would have been nice to have those, but they were just too hard to get at that stage. There we go, we're inside. This one looks empty. Check the next car. I can probably get a couple of large steel tubes from the hinges, so I'll grab those before I go. Hopefully there's something else in here. Otherwise this is a lot of grinding for very little gain. <laughs> does look like this one's empty too. Newts. about you? Are you empty? Yep. These look a bit like livestock cars, so I can't imagine they would have had much of interest or value in them for me in this condition. <laughs> Finding the bones of some long lost cow is not high on my list. These little top piston parts also contain large steel tubes, so i got to keep an eye out for them too. But I guess at least we got something. Full. Ooh. Now I have to get out of here. I'm just going to let these parts fall on the ground so that I can Inventory do that safely. Because I do not want to fall Inventory down. Uh, right. Well, my inventory is full, so I guess I'm heading home. I don't have a choice anymore. I did not find cargo. I am driving on. If I see a cargo at anything along the way, if I spot something on nearby on my route home, I'm going to check. But don't think there's too much else there for me to grab. Which is sad. First train I can actually do stuff with. Didn't have anything I wanted. So, so very tempting to increase my speed limit. But I probably shouldn't be driving at more than 40 meters a second. Especially when I get that much air even, even at these speeds. And a little billboard. Which is saying what? Lit. Don't think there's anything there that I need. I just realized how incredibly full my inventory is if I don't have enough grids to build this cargo container. I will actually have to just drive around until I find more cargo. Or I'll have to build a whole bunch of uh, the cargo crates inside my base and dump stuff in there until I find something better. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Especially undoing it all later. Okie dokie, where I, where am I going to put this cargo? I think I'll put it directly behind the other one. 
and I'll start creating like a bit of a random jumble of these containers as I collect more and more of them. Assuming I collect enough that that's what it does. Because who knows, I might get a large cargo container and then I'm like, meh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I may not need to. Oh, I don't actually need the crane for this. Cargo containers are light enough that I can just drag this. So I'm gonna... I can get to that landing gear. Ooh, I may need the crane to get it up this edge though. Unless... I'm doing this in a derpy way just because I'm curious if I can make it work. Not because I think it's actually a good way to do this. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Now, grids. We have three. Do I have a fourth? Do I have one on the truck somewhere? Oh, please. Can't remember whether I got one. Thought I maybe got one. Yes, I've got one. It's in the connector. Hooray! Uh, I want to make these blue. I want them to stand out a bit. Let's go blue. Let's actually make them even more blue. A bit more saturation on these. A little bit lighter. A bit more. Yeah, there. Now, do I want to try and make these containers the right way around? I think I do. I'm going to try and... Oh, actually, do I want to? Do I want them to look more jumbly? Oh, well, I'll put them right way up. I might make them different colours eventually. Paint them so that they look like a nice little collection of different things. For a bit of fun. Was there anything in this? Oh, just some interior plate. Boring! Oh, oh, come on. You're so close. Just that last... Yeah, there we go. Cargo doubled. Now I can offload my truck. And I probably want to offload a bunch of this other stuff. And I think I want to keep going for more loot, especially while it's daylight. And then maybe when it comes nightfall again, I might... Is that west? No. Not quite yet. When it goes nightfall, then I might come back and start designing some sort of a little forklift. Alright, can I build these conveyors so that I can empty this off without having to do it manually? Looks like I can. Alright, now I can offload. Okay. Uh, let's name the base containers something to make offloading a bit quicker. So if I call this warehouse CC small, should then be able to hop in here, go to inventory, search for CC, which is just going to show me up those. Unfortunately, one of my medium cargo containers has SYCC in its name, so I'm going to have to fix that too. Medium cargo container SYCC. Search for CC, and it's not here. Which one's got a funny name attached to it? That's strange. I wonder if renaming them all will fix that. No, there's still a... Oh, there's going to be one that's hidden. There we go. There it is. <laughs> I really should have been quicker to figure that out. <laughs> so if I go CC, then I've just got the stuff on the base. And then if I go show inventories and show only of the current ship, I can then deposit all components. And it's so handy. It's such a good way to offload your trucks. You put the same... You can put RR, you can put CC, just some... Or FF, VV, something that's nice and near where your left hand sits. So we've got two power cells. We've got 22 Gatling ammo boxes. That's pretty good. Um, I've got ammunition that I don't actually have the weapon to fire. Which is pretty funny. Alright, what else have we got in here? Have I offloaded these cargo crates? No, I haven't yet. Should do that. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to offload them when I don't have much cargo left. But I kind of want to pull together everything I've got and have a clearer idea how much I have of stuff. I guess I should go out looking for more cargo because it is about to go sunset. I should get moving. No, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere. <laughs> I was going to try and move before sunset, but looking at all the stuff that's still attached to my truck, this is going to take a while to offload. I am going to be stuck here through the night. Now, oh, I really need this for <laughs> forklift. So basically, my idea for a forklift would be something that can really quickly come around and pick stuff like this up. Something small, I can just zip up, pick that up, move it. Doesn't need to do any manipulation, just needs to pick it up. So that it's easy to move stuff that's too heavy for me to move with the... 
improvised experimentation thing. All right, I'm going to grind this apart and I'm just going to make these two separate things so I can grab them one at a time because I don't have a forklift yet and I would like to get more stuff before I try and bake one. I'm going to... Whoa! I'm going to start putting these bits inside. Come on. Let me drag you up the hill. Really? You're not going to let me do this? Come on. So close. Yeah, there we go. Gyroscopes. I can go here for now. Oh, yes. Momentum. That's what we needed. That got me up the ramp real quick. Oh, jeez. Was not expecting that to happen. Holy cow. Blammo. Whew. Scared the... Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't do that with tanks. Even oxygen ones. That was, uh... That was bad. It's like I didn't do more damage to the rover. Because I've clearly done some significant damage to it. Jeez. So much of this is dented. Oh. <laughs> that was lucky. That could have been so much worse. Yeah, things like this O2H2 gen and that oxygen tank that I exploded, they're the sorts of things that are much easier to move if you've got a little forklift. Especially as I don't think I've got the ability to get this up this ramp, so it's just going to sit there. Crane, let's put this battery away. Or at least drop it off the side. Yeah, let's drop it off the side. Drop it off the side, and then I'm going to chase that sun and see if I can actually chase it. Okay, one battery. I'm just going to put this behind those cargo containers for now. It's not enjoying doing this while I'm on the hinge. There we go. And leave. Unlock. Let's roll. We are going west. And we are trying to go west fast. See if I can actually catch up to the sun. I'm not sure if I can move faster than it or not. But I'm all offloaded. So I should be good to go. I'm not going to increase my speed limit. <laughs> Especially when I get air like that. I would much rather just see if this is actually fast enough or not. Local time is 1906. If it goes backwards, I'm good. If it doesn't change, eh, it's a problem. It's still not changing. I may have to change the speed limit if I really want to do this. In fact, it's getting later. Ooh, do I risk it? I'm going to risk it. Let's have some fun. Strength, 8. Max height offset. Max speed. See how fast I need to move. Or do I just go to that settlement? Maybe I'll just go to that settlement. Maybe that's smarter. Maybe just scout in the dark. <laughs> Maybe that's the smarter play. I will just let the night envelop me and I will hope that my spotlights can spot things for me. Oh, right. As soon as I've got the materials, I need to build a searchlight on here and have it set to target things so that I can spot stuff more easily. In fact, I may even put it on top of the crane there so that when it's when the crane's sitting stowed, it's in a perfect position to spot things. Because it's the highest point on the truck. Is that... It's a low building. Is it a service station? It's got kind of like an awning roof, what it looks like at this distance. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, it is. Please have some tools. I've got a medium cargo container, so that's nice. I always get confused because I keep getting out of the back of the truck. Oh, there's a dumpster and a shed over here. Let's see what the shed's got in it. Hydrogen engine, timer block, programmable block, event controller. Someone was working on some electronics here. All right, we've got some good stuff. Looks like this dumpster's pretty... Yeah, there's not like, nothing exciting in here. All right, what's in the shop? Some steel tubes. Some more steel tubes and more magazines. We've got girders, girders. Five power cells. Oh, yes. That is epic. That's so good. All right. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul for one little stop. Engine, hydrogen tank, medium cargo container, five power cells. I am not going to complain about that. Lift this up, chuck it up there. I may as well link this up straight away. Which will involve getting rid of these guys. Oh, hold up. 
I'm not sure I'm going to have enough components to be able to build this thing or straight away. May not have enough for the merge blocks. Because I left most of my stuff at home. Alright, i got to find something with computers in it. Have you got anything with computers in it that I don't want to keep? There was a timer block on that table, so that might. Let's go check that out. No! Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Kidding me. All the things I need... And you've only got one computer that I can take out. You've got four. But if I take them, you'll bleed hydrogen. What about these lockers? They've got computers. There we go. Oh, and the lockers had a whole lot of nothing in them. But at least they gave me the computers I needed. There we go. Another medium cargo added. That's another event controller, which means I've got something to use for docking. Which will be great. Because once I'm operating more than one vehicle, it'd be really nice to have automated docking stuff set up. Great. Now it's dark and stormy. That's not what I want. There's a part of me that really wants to make a little cage on the side that has a lid and I just put loose blocks like those little programmable blocks and event controllers and things in there and sort them out later. <laughs> have a little hinge that closes the lid. My worry is that doing something like that is going to end up with everything exploding and just horribly, horribly wrong, but it, it feels like a thing that could be fun to try anyway. I'm not going to, but it feels like a thing that could be. <laughs> fun until you lose your hard work, I guess. No, I forgot to build the spotlight. The searchlight. Uh, I can see something up ahead, so I'm going to pop it on now and see how it works or doesn't. Yeah, I think that's as good a spot as any. So, searchlight. Aiming radius, 800 meters. Radius on the searchlight. 800 meters. And we might make this one... Let's go greenish. That'll stand out in this terrain. At least with my eyesight. Uh, and we want to target neutrals as well. Now the trouble that we're going to have with something like this is it may try and target the stuff that's around here. As in anything that I attach to the side of the crane may actually get targeted by this. My crane does not really stay still when I turn. <laughs> it kind of... Well, it, it almost seems to be stabilized against any steering I do. It's a bit odd. I was trying to figure out why my crane kept ending up um, slightly off from center, even though I'd set it to go to center. Oh, there's something down there. And I only realized when I did a giant jump before and it suddenly moved, I was like, oh, have I got it too weak? No, I don't. The shoulder rotor is set to maximum strength. It's just not strong enough for the weight that's on there. Because the weight is very unbalanced. There's no... I have no counterweight whatsoever on this crane. It does make me wonder if I should attempt a counterweight for the crane at some point. If I decide to do an upgrade, say I make it a piston actuated crane. So that I've got a bit more strength and a bit more power to lift up even bigger things. I haven't really run into anything that I can't lift up yet though. So maybe that won't be required. Oh, here we go. Searchlight is working. What have we got? A truck, maybe? Yeah, it's a truck. A truck with a van on the back. What have they got that I want? Probably got a few... Oh, an ore detector. I don't need that. And those detector components might come in handy for something. Like a sensor, if I need to do a sensor activated thing. Well, that's all from that. And I saw something west. While I was grinding that down. I'm still surprised <laughs> that I've only run into one person. Well, I haven't even run into them. I just found one person's home. Once I've actually got something to share as a shop or something like that, I will definitely be broadcasting my location, so I reckon a few more people will show up. But while it's... Well, I don't really have a lot to offer. It's kind of... feels a bit disingenuous to be like, Hey, come to my shop. Don't have stock yet. And we have a Chinook. Of sorts. So this guy got in it. Don't need the timer block. Well, may as well take this event controller. Who knows if I'm going to want more than one for a whole bunch of different tasks. <laughs> Just 
just toss it out the door. It'll be fine. So, battery, custom turret controller, and a and an event controller. It's not too bad. Doesn't look like there's anything else up front that I want. Is there anything in the door that I want? I could grind these down for the computers if I'm patient enough, and I might be. I was not patient enough on that warehouse that I stopped by that, to get the computers out of that those doors. Oh, they take so long. I mean, even these take forever. I just thought of something that I kind of want to do. And I wonder how hard it would be to do. <laughs> if if I get if I get so inspired, there's a part of me that's a little bit tempted to create a car yard where I repair and restore the each of the vehicles. <laughs> oh, don't know. That feels like a lot of work. <laughs> it's a slow process, but I think adding this mass under here will eventually be uh, something that feels worthwhile. Cool. That's everything from that one. And another way, another thing scrapped, and away I go. Could take this whole helicopter with me, or I could try and head in that direction. That seems unwise, because that's through mountains. Don't think I want to go this way. Or do I? No. I don't think I want to be traveling through that sort of terrain at night. It's 2.44 in the morning. Start seeing sunrise soon, which would be nice. Definitely need some sort of flatbed. I wonder if... I wonder if anyone's near enough that they might be able to provide me a flatbed. Ooh, and I can provide them a crane. I, I can't see anything. This is so dark. Ooh. I might have the materials to do that. I'm thinking I might make some spotlight towers at my base to shine onto my base so that I've got some area lighting that isn't just at ground height. No, this is something else. What is this? Oh, it's a bit of pipeline. Any worthwhile components in this? Probably a few motors in there, yeah. Ah, daylight. First light is here. And an abandoned settlement is in that direction. Perfect. Oh, that looks like a concept hangar. What? Oh. Okay. Yep, it is. Uh, I am going to approach carefully because that's giving me an interesting signal. What do we have here? We have another big battery. Yes. Don't know why my voice went so high pitched then, but. We'll just, we'll just move on from that. Ah! Ah! There's a gun. I am surprised it didn't shoot me, but it is there. Um, I'm going to do the cheeky thing. I really don't want to get shot. So glad I spotted it before it spotted me. Any more rifle ammo? What have I got in these? Girders, steel plate, yeah. I'll grab the small steel tubes. That's about all I want from that. Alright, I think it's just the battery from here. Is there anything on the roof? Nope. Let's try some things here. See if I can manage to get this power, these thing hacked without um, breaking a power cell. So I can do one steel plate at a time. And then I do, when I do my next grind, it's four construction components at a time. Or even more. So I'm gonna try grabbing let's say let's try let's try four construction components and see what happens. See how many computers I can get out if I weld up and then grind them out. Oh did I do it? No, one cell! Oh not bad though. It's not a bad effort. I think I did three the first time. Or was that a small grid large battery? Could have been a small grid one. Either way, one power cell is not bad at all. Let's get a programmable block. I want the large grid one because there's a decent chance that I will be wanting to build a large grid crane at my base at some point. I'm not 100% sure that that's the case, but I think there's a decent chance of it. So if I can get myself a large grid programmable... I can't speak right now. If I can get myself this and bring it home, it means that I've got something to use for a large grid crane if I decide I want one. Oh, that battery's in such an annoying spot. It is... 
Oh, it's sitting right on top of my cockpit. I cannot get a third person view. <laughs> what have I done to myself? It's only 3Ks and this is very, very flat like, but no, give me third person. I want to see my surroundings because I have no spatial awareness even in the best circum oh, circumstances. Circum circumstances? Yeah, that. What is that on the horizon? That looks kind of cool with just the shimmering shape of it. Because I really can't tell how big that is. I've got no sense of scale out here. It's like being in space. I think that might be a rail bridge with some sort of train on top. Hopefully it's more lucrative than the last one. Ooh. Oh, this could be. That looks like a locomotive. How bad of an idea would it be to just chop this down and bring the whole bridge down? Probably a pretty bad one. <laughs> With my truck this close to it. I'm going to give it a go. I'm gonna move back. I mean, alternatively, I could try and grab the locomotive with my crane. If I can get up there and unlock it, because I reckon it'll be locked down. Here we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try and bring this whole thing down with the crane. Not because I should, but because I think I can. There we go. It's loose. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great to bring back to base and scrap hole. Yeah. Oh, wait. Can I push it? Sort of. Ah! 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 I was falling off for a second there. Oh, no. <clears throat> Ow. Oh dear. I think I might reconnect. These grids are not where I see them. <laughs> uh, let's try reconnect. Okay, let's see if I can lift up a whole train. Well, a whole locomotive, I should say. It's not a whole train. There's no train here. There's only a locomotive. Ooh, that was some tipping. This could get spicy. Okay, here goes. I have lift. Ish. Oh, I'm a bit stuck. Uh, let's... Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm lifting myself up. That's not good. <laughs> let's try that again. Ah, here we go. This is more like it. Yeah, there we are. Look at that. I really should be locked to the ground doing this sort of thing. But I really wanted to see if I could do it without having to do that. <laughs> okay. I am loaded up and ready to go home. Now this is going to make my scrapyard look like a scrapyard. Having a whole locomotive there. <laughs> I think I have enough stuff. So that's three large batteries on my base. That I'll be able to put on. I'm trying to think how I'm going to go about putting shelves in the base. Or am I just going to add little piles? Okay, this is confusing. Is that the same marker as the one I found before? No. Why is there a scrap starter rover? Because a scrap starter rover is not a player's rover. That's a scrap one. Right, so we need to go 4.2Ks. Right, let's see if I can find this thing. I'm just genuinely curious why there's uh, scrap rover broadcasting. Because it could mean a wrecked rover that might have a survival kit on it. Getting a second survival kit would be very nice. Especially as I already have the med components for it. This is quite the detour to do with a train attached to my crane, but... <laughs> I, um, curiosity is getting the better of me here. After missing out on finding out what the thing was last time thing over the hill is definitely the thing that was broadcasting. Oh, there's a little vehicle near it. Maybe that's what was broadcasting. It's got a survival kit. That's going to make things very awkward for me. Because I have to figure out how to get this train off and then back on. And it does have a survival kit. This was a worthwhile detour. Let's just check this place out since I'm here. Then we'll figure out how to deal with this train situation. Yeah, five more power cells. No, I do not want the basic hand drill. Thank you. I still don't want another basic hand drill. Why has this got so many basic hand drills? I'll take med kits though. I guess I'll take those hydrogen bottles too. <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Oh! Tier 
three, two, we, it's two chevron, but I think it's tier three, and then tier four is the top tier welder. Um, yes, a proficient welder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That makes me happy. Can't wait till I get a better grinder, but a better welder is definitely, definitely a very nice to, a very nice thing to get. Oops, wrong tool. Nope, wrong tool again. There we go. Third time's jump. Well, I think I'm going to make every effort I can to go after these blips when they show up now. Now that I know it's probably going to have a survival kit on it. Because I can just hook this up to the base with a couple of connectors and done. I've got a, <laughs> got a survival kit at home. The question that always comes to mind at this stage in a little loot run is... What was I originally going out here to look for? Because <laughs> I don't think I've brought any of what I was actually looking for home. Because what I was looking for originally was more cargo. I have no more cargo. I have more battery. I have survival kit, which is great. But I don't actually have what I was coming here for. I don't really want those wheels interacting with the thing below them. That should do it. All right, we got everything. Let's roll on home. <laughs> this is great. This is absolutely great. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a lot more stable than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh man. Okay. And I somehow miraculously return home. Locomotive, battery, programmable block, and everything else in tow. Alright, so I was planning on using this side round here as my large vehicle scrapping area. So let's do that as planned. Offload this thing, let's extend that out. Bring that down. Extend it out some more. Woohoo! <laughs> I deserve whatever comes to me from doing this. <laughs> I very much have done this to myself. Alright, let's drop you off. And we have the first Zebra Monkeys Railroad locomotive in the scrapyard. Let's probably have a look at what's actually in it. We have access panels, heat vents, hinges, hydrogen engines that are both incomplete, so they won't have anything too exciting on them. We've got a bunch of small hydrogen tanks and an incomplete warfare battery. Okay. If nothing else, it could be fun to make a train. Just for the sake of making a train? Might give it a try. Keeping the wheels at their current width, so not, not giving it any advantages, just... Literally making a train and then figuring out a way to make a coupling to some of those cars and then I can slowly <laughs> Slowly accumulate more and more bits. Oh, there are so many things I want to do I think that's more realistic and more up my alley than going down the road of uh, Trying to repair the other va various vehicles around All right, Let's cut a hole in the wall again for the battery Actually, do I want to put the battery in the corner here? I'm uncertain if I actually do Or do I want to bring them outside as well, like I brought out all the other stuff? Plus, it makes it a lot easier for putting new blocks on. I always have the batteries easy to access outside, and it's easy to add more as I go along. So, let's cut this out and add more floor. I've managed to bring all this stuff home. Next time, what i got to do is get it all locked down, try and design something a little bit more homely for my warehouse, see if I've got enough space that I can get rid of the rest of these shelves. Which I don't think I do, but we'll see. And then what I want to do is build a little hut off the side to fit that survival kit. I'll probably put a bed in there, put a few other bits of decorative stuff in. Make this place feel a bit more like my home. Maybe put a couple of lights, light towers in. So a uh, hinge, rotor and spotlight pointing back at my base so that the base is lit up a bit more. Rather than just using interior lights around the place, I want to do something like that because I think it'll add something pretty cool. So next time there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.